And as promised, here he is back here on the Rich Eisen Show in advance of uh, the new animated series Hoops that will be debuting on Netflix starting on Friday. That's tomorrow. He is none other than Rob Riggle. How are you, Robert? I'm good, buddy. Good to see you. You two in the flesh. This is an animated show, correct? This is an animated program. This is an animated show. Uh, um, not for the okay. kids. Not let's for the kids. Real, let's be real clear on that. Okay. So uh, let's start with this right right now off the bat. Not for the children. Nope. What, so put the kids to bed when you start streaming hoops. That's right. And and if uh, aggressive foul language, uh, you know, is not your cup of tea, which is totally fair, <laughs> probably not going to want to see this one. Okay, sit this one out, but, but uh, you know, I'll be honest, it is my cup of tea, uh, even though, you know, I'm not allowed to work blue on this program, but you're, so you play the father of a coach in this series, correct? Map this out for what, for everybody, for, for sure, what they sure. It's, uh, it's really a murderer's row of great comedic talent, all right? So, uh, uh, Ben Hoffman created it, uh, mm -hmm. Chris Miller, Phil Lord, executive producing, Jake Johnson producing and starring in it as the coach. Ben, his character's named Ben. I play Barry Hopkins, his dad. Yes. I'm a former pro athlete who now owns a steakhouse. Um, I make his life hell. Um, I, I'm always giving him a hard time. I don't respect him. I bust his beans constantly. I'm always judging him. I don't wish him ill, though. I, he's my son. I do love him. Okay. Um, so that, so it's, it's not a hate-filled thing, but it's definitely a, a, a ball-busting thing. Then you've got uh, Natasha Legero, you've got Ron Funches, uh, Steve Berg, I mean, A.D. Miles, you've got some of the great comedians, uh, Cleo Kings in it, um, just great comic talent uh, lined up. And it is uh, very funny. Uh, uh, Jake Johnson is off the charts funny in it. Uh, there's a lot of cussing. Um, uh, he plays a, a high school basketball coach in Kentucky who, uh, you know, has, he's mad at his wife, he's mad at his dad, he's mad at his best friend, uh, and he just can't seem to get it together, but he's trying to coach these kids, uh, these high school kids, to be winners, even though he's far from being a winner himself. Well, I, this is great. I mean, uh, you named a ton of funny people. Jake is as funny as they come. He's been on the show before. First time I ever met him, he wore, um, this is back when my show was a podcast in the NFL, he wore an old Mike Ditka Bears sweater. Or a buddy, he probably more Buddy Ryan Bears era sweater. <laughs> the big Bears thing? Big yes. Bears right across. Yes. It was his when he was a kid and it still fit him. God bless him. I That's mean, he, classic 85. That's classic 85. Classic 85. You know, yeah. circa, I guess for you and your fandom, I guess circa uh, Marty Schottenheimer is probably. It would have been just at the beginning or just right before. You no, know, that's probably, no, that's probably. I can't, that's, no, Marty was probably with the Browns around. Yeah, there. I think he was still with the Browns. I think, I, I think we got him around 87 or 88, somewhere okay, in there. Right yeah. around there. Well, I mean, last time we spoke to uh, Patrick Mahomes is on a rookie contract. Now he has all the American dollars that are in existence. Yes, he does. Right that was what a, I mean, your team is just taking care of business. They signed Chris Jones too. I mean, you're ready to roll in a couple I'm, of weeks here. I'm telling you, um, uh, it being out in the desert, as long as we've been out in the desert, Rich, it feels really good to be at the oasis, drinking of the water. It feels really good. Um, yeah, and and they're they're all so young and so motivated and so uh, optimistic, and they got the they got the world by the tail. Uh, I, I I got to play uh, golf with Patrick Mahomes and Travis Kelsey out at the American Century Golf Tournament in Tahoe. Uh, yeah, uh, part of the, the Saturday grouping. Okay. And, and they just were so fun and so lighthearted and so jovial. And, and again, like I said, it's because they got the world by the tail right now. But um, I don't know. It just feels like they just, there's this wonderful optimism that surrounds them. I, I sincerely hope that we are the team of the 20s. I hope that we are the dynasty of the 20s. You know, that, that would make me... A very happy man. Well, Andy Reid's only a 62-year-old man right now. I mean, and, and Mahomes is basically like, although I, I don't know if Andy Reid's got a, a touch of the Wilford Brimley rest his soul in him where he's he looks older mm -hmm. than he really is. You know what I mean? Like, I just, he, he might have that sort of. Oh, yeah. The football's a stressful. Being a head coach in the National Football League is very stressful. Very stressful. Although, although it's like sitting in a rocking chair with, with Mahomes. What was that uh, round of golf like? Uh, to walk me through that. Oh, it was fantastic. He swings the club so hard. I, I swear, I, every time he did it, my back hurt. Because I was like, how are you How are you getting that kind of torque? He would come off the tee with irons because 
if he used a wood, he would have something bad would have happened. So he he really the club head speed had to be around 150. I'm not even kidding. It was just nuts. Um, his game was just like mine. We're, we're like 12 handicaps. We were you know we're in the same grouping for a reason. Okay. Um, <laughs> And uh, okay. so it's, not, it's not special golf. You know, we, we, we were chunking, we were rolling putts way past, way short. Right. Um, I was winning through 15 holes. I, I had them through 15. And then we came in the last 16, 17 and 18. And that's, I should have known I was playing against Mahomes. Uh, he, always, right. he, he always comes from behind. He always comes from behind. Like the Super Bowl. It's, yes. That's what he did. You like know, the whole postseason. The whole everything. Right, you were the Texans. He turned you into the Texans, basically. Exactly, yeah. and and he did. He turned it on, and I buckled like a lawn chair. I I I double 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 the last three holes, and he went on to win that day. So was uh was was Kelsey like locked in too, or is he just like uh, Kelsey was? Uh, I think he was a little bit out of it. He, I think he came in third that day, uh, okay. that particular day. Um, but he when he hits a golf ball. Yes. If he catches it on the ascending blow. It's so funny when we'd say hit it as hard as you can, man, he <laughs> would just chunk it or put it in the woods or it was just out of control. If we left him alone, he would pipe it. Uh, no joke. 330, 350. Get out of here. I, I, I swear to you, we were on a par five uh, coming down towards the lake. Uh, it's actually 16. Yes. Um, and he probably hit it 360 because there's a little, a little downhill to help, but it, it still was monster drives he also strikes me as a guy who probably got into the swing oil right around the third tee box you know what i mean like doesn't matter what time of day you teed off like right around the third tee box he was already just getting in there so you know he's in in just in general in life he's one of the most jovial guys i love him he's great look i know you got to run and uh congrats on on the show hoops I, anytime i get an opportunity to have you on the show and just chit chat i will take advantage of that i do want to show you also uh thanks to the good people of netflix trying to include me um and they they made a a uh a trading card of me i guess oh. i don't know if you've seen this uh -uh. i don't know who this person is if you can i i would like to uh <laughs> uh basically uh, object to this portrayal um no, they're not telling you that's you is it no uh, that, this is yes rich eisen trading card right there i don't i don't understand um, again, I guess facial cool. hair. And why do you have eyes that look like you just are a deer in a headlight? These are all good questions. There's no meat on that bone either. I mean, it's not nearly uh, as um, as uh, uh, flattering as I prefer, but I'm going to go with it. I'm just going to roll with it. Uh, yeah, do your best. Uh, they, they really messed out on the facial hair because that, that gives you a lot of edge. <laughs> Yes, it does. So if I ever do cameo in this, we'll have to we'll have to talk. We'll okay. Have to we'll, yeah, we'll fix that. that. We'll that that will fix that up. <laughs> Rob, great to chat with you. You be well. We'll see you. Always soon. good to see you, man. Take care. That's right. Uh, Rob Riggle, right here on the Rich Eisen Show. Hoops starts streaming on Netflix tomorrow, and that's uh, Friday for all those scoring at home. And put the kids to bed. That's the <laughs> fair warning. Thanks, Rob. <laughs> see you, bud. Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here.